Cooking Battle Introduction of Chef Tutorials. A lot of us are just playing for fun and entertainment purposes only. But I believe of course while we are playing a lot of us too also want to get a victorious score. Victory! 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 And that is where we became more satisfied in our play style. The question is, how to be a better cooking battle player? There are things we must understand first as we play cooking battle. Number 1. The Maps As you match up in ranked mode the chosen map will be in random. Each map has different number of plates and dishes to serve. Each map has different angle, different design and different size. There are maps that has different feature of cooking equipment and there are maps that has special assistance of the Cat Ninja and Sand Sand. Once the map is revealed during matching up, learn to strategize and choose carefully which chef you will use. Because it will have a big impact if your team will gonna win or lose in the match. To understand it more carefully kindly check out this video. I will put the link of it down below. Number 2. The Talent Tiers. It is also very important to level up your chef's talent tiers, depending on its account level. The role of it is to give your chefs an additional buff to their chopping, washing plates, and cooking ability. As you observed if your chef is still at level 1, its chopping speed is too slow the same as the washing of plates at the sink. But if your chef already reached maximum level, its chopping speed is increasing and increasing as you level its talent tiers. Each talent tier can be unlocked as you level up your chef. Talent tier C can be unlocked at chef account level 1. Talent tier B can be unlocked at chef account level 4. Talent tier A can be unlocked at chef account level 7. Talent tier S can be unlocked at chef account level 10. Therefore if you want your chefs to increase their chopping speed, try to level up your chop talent tiers as well as your Treasures chef account level. Hidden in the sea. To understand it more carefully kindly check out this video. I will put the link of it down below. Number 3. The Chef's Ability. Know your chefs first. Each chef has their own unique ability. And to activate it of course you must know how to use it in appropriate way. Some chef's ability requires a good timing depends on the situation. And also depends on your teammate chef too. There are also chefs that does not recommend it for a beginner's play style. Like Dom, Edward, Anubis, Carlos, and Didu. Because their abilities require a perfect aim and good timing. Number 4. The Perks. What is Perks? It is a bonus that gives your chefs additional special ability. Also if activates it can make your chefs more powerful. As you observed each chef has different kinds of perks that suits their abilities. Each perks has unique purpose depending on the playstyle you want. First and second perks can be unlocked at chef account level 4. Third and fourth perks can be unlocked at chef account level 7. Fifth and sixth perks can be unlocked at chef account level 10. Top 3 common mistakes by players. Number 1. If I activate perk number 6 plus 30% extra tips and my teammate also activate perk number 6 plus 30% extra tips, it will double up our extra points per servings by 60%. The truth is, it will not double up. 
Whether one or both of you equip this perk your team will still receive plus 30% extra tips for servings. Nothing more nothing less. Number 2. If I activate increased debuff resistance I will be immune to any distracting or direct impact ability of my opponent. The truth is... No you are still not. Rather than being immune, it will just lessen or reduce your opponent's ability impact on you once directly hit. For example A. If opponent king's ability make me dance for 10 seconds. With this perk I will only dance for 8 seconds. Example B. If opponent DJ's ability stun me for 5 seconds. With this perk I will only be stunned for 4 seconds. Example C. My opponent has jack that can chop two ingredients. With this perk no effect at all. Example B. My opponent has Idip that can speed up her workstation. With this perk no effect at all. Number 5. The perks and chef's ability combo. What is skill combo? A skill set is the combination of your chef's both ability. It specifically indicates a time sequence of moves which produce a cohesive series of hits. During matching up you will able to determine your teammate chef to use. Try to strategize and think of what chef is most suitable to use in combo. For an instance, if your teammate lock up Nira for this map try to think which chef is most suitable for Nira skill. Then you might lock up King. Since Mira and King has a combo perk too. In choosing chef for a certain map always consider your teammate chef and perk. To strategize think for a better skill or perk combo and that is the main purpose of your chef ability and their perks. Cecilia and King both have slowing effect abilities. These are their perk combo. Other chefs with ability combo. To be a better cooking battle player. Deeply know every chef abilities and familiarize their perks. Consider the map first before choosing a chef. Strategize and set a combo while matching up with your teammate. Do not forget to save up or stack dishes before 1 minute and 02. Grind pots level up your chef account level and their talent tiers. Learn to adjust and cooperate with your teammate. Teamwork is the key. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.